Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, UI UX design workflows uh, and uh, how to create uh, efficient uh, and uh, fast uh, workflows for both your clients uh, and yourself. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Pierluigi and I'm a UI UX designer with uh, over a decade of experience and I work uh, with over 40 clients uh, from all around the world from startups that needed to get their first round of funding all the way to Fortune 500 companies. So I do have some experience and in this video I want to share with you what I notice being the key areas in a design workflow working with different clients. And I have to start with a premise and that is that each and every project and each and every client is different. So you might be involved in just a few set of these areas but uh, in other cases you're actually going to tackle all of them and my objective in this video is to give you a bird's eye overview and we won't go into the details of each and every one because uh, design processes and workflows can be incredibly complex and there can be so many different moving parts tools uh, and methodologies that you can use uh, that uh, it can be overwhelming so let's get started with the very first one, which is always going to be a discovery phase. Now, the discovery phase essentially consists in you understanding the problem that the client is having. And you're essentially going to gather information from the client, from their team, and potentially also from their users in order to better understand the context in which you're operating. So almost see it as a doctor that is trying to understand what is the status of a patient and this is essential in order to understand what is going to be the best cure for him. Is it going to be uh, exercise? Is it going to be a pill? Is it going to be all sorts of different things? So as UI UX designers, we have to approach uh, uh, the process and uh, uh, work with our clients in the same way. We need to understand what the problems are, what are the goals of the client, what are their KPIs, which are key performance indicators, meaning what are their aims and goals. And essentially after that, we have to reverse engineer a solution which is going to be the UI UX design project. Now, usually once the discovery stage is finished, you would then move on to the very next stage, which is the information architecture. Now, the information architecture is essentially figuring out a bird's eye perspective of the project. So say that you're working on a website design, for example, you might want to understand what are the pages that are going to be needed to be created or, re or redesigned in order to accomplish the goals that, uh, and also the pain points that you identified in the initial phase, which is the discovery phase. So you might want to create a flowchart, which is going to essentially have all of the different uh, outlines and pages and flows of that specific website. Now, after that, uh, you're going to be going more granular with uh, the wireframe, which is essentially going to be a skeleton version of uh, a website design. So think that of a landing page, the very first page, which uh, a visitor is going to view when it's going to land on uh, the website. In that case, a wireframe would be a black and white outline version of that page without going into much detail. Now, there's two different types of wireframes, the low fidelity ones and the high fidelity ones. And essentially the difference between the two is that the low fidelity, as the name suggests, is not going to have a lot of details. It's not going to really cover the content extensively of that page, while the high fidelity is going to be much closer to the final result and design outcome. Now, once the wireframing is done, you would then move on to the fun part, which is going to be the UI design or visual design. And this is going to be the moment where you're going to be bringing to the table elements such as colors, typography, design systems, layouts and uh, recreating those stunning pixel perfect designs which uh, you love doing. Now it's important to notice that this whole process starts with discovery and information architecture and wireframing before going into the design and the reason being is that by doing that without going directly to the design 
you're actually going to create a rock solid foundation and structure for the project. So even if the design is not up to a really high standard, you know that all the work created previously is going to yield the results to the business. So this is why it's super important to create this product strategy before jumping into the design. Now, after that, you would sync it all up within the design system and you would then create a prototype now, this is an optional stage, not uh, each and every time you're going to create prototypes, but this can be really useful, especially if you're doing usability testing with real potential users, since uh, that's going to give you a lot of insights as to what uh, is the feedback from the marketplace. And uh, this is such an invaluable data. The more feedback and data that we can acquire from uh, the market, the better decisions we can make as UI UX designers. So this is going to be an integral part of your job and career. And the very last stage is all about refining and improving upon feedback from the team and also from the marketplace. And then from then on, it's just a matter of constant analyzing, testing and improving incrementally upon the market's needs and the company's goals. So again, this is a brief uh, overview, if you wish, but uh, you're probably going to be involved in just uh, a segment of uh, these aspects uh, and uh, these areas. And it really depends uh, upon the client and the project that you're working on and how the team is uh, distributed and managed. So really hope this video was helpful and I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you want to bring your knowledge further, feel free to check out the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.